Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. And hello from Disney Springs. Today, I decided to ask Bianca to join me on a Disney Springs date to celebrate the holidays just because we love the festivities here at Disney Springs year after year. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot to do for free for the entire family or as a couple. I know for lunch, we want to go eat at Earl of Sandwich to get the holiday sandwich, which is amazing. We may even make a stop over at the Boathouse this year because they have a brand new Christmas old fashioned and heck, we may even meet Santa Claus himself here. I am using a brand new camera. I did upgrade to the Sony A7 IV. Right now I'm using the kit lens, which is a 28 to 70. We'll see how it does. So far, I really like it. I've been enjoying it. Let's not waste any more time. I hope you guys are ready because we are. Let's go do this. All right, and here we are. It is such a beautiful day here in Central Florida. We are both starving. We are both very excited. Now the question is, where do we start? Well, did we decide where we are going to first on today's adventure? Yes, I really want to check out my tried and true Earl of Sandwich. Yeah, <laughs> that place is so good. Yes, and get the holiday sandwich. Which tastes just like Thanksgiving dinner, but in a, in a sandwich, sandwich form. <laughs> Sounds good to me, let's go. Yes. Also, keep in mind, you can meet Santa Claus here. Now, it is a virtual queue, so you do have to scan this QR code to get your place in line, but something fun to do for the entire family here, and it's free. My goodness, check out the Christmas tree here at Disney Springs. This is actually called the Town Center Tree, and fun fact about this area, during the evening hours, it will actually snope in this area. And I say snope just because it's not real snow, it's like soap. Snope, you get it? <laughs> I love the holiday garland around this place. Disney Springs is always so festive for the holidays. I feel like these ornament decorations are new this year. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I like it. They look like they light up. At nighttime? Yeah. I'm sure they do. Oh yeah. This would make a good photo spot at nighttime. Oh man, as we were passing by the daily poutine, I thought to myself, I wonder if they have the turkey poutine like they did last year. And as of right now, they do not. They only have the Italian poutine. Dang, I hope they bring this back this year because it was delicious. Passing by the Advent Health Waterside stage, we have a choir performing some holiday music right now from Taylor High School in Indiana. It's time for lunch here at Earl of Sandwich. Wait a minute, did I miss some breaking news? Is the Disney dining plan finally returning? The return of Bob Iger. Already back at it. Oh man, I hope this is true. And that's what we are here to get. The holiday turkey for $8.99. It has turkey, cornbread stuffing, gravy, cranberry sauce, and mayonnaise. And then I like to add a little bit of extra gravy to it as well. Ooh, they also have the holiday ham sandwich this year. Look at this. My oh my. This is what we've been thinking about all day. Let me tell you guys. There's nothing like a holiday sandwich from Earl of Sandwich. If you guys are in a rush or if you just want something quick, come to Disney Springs and check this place out. What did you think? 10 out of 10. Okay, we just left Earl of Sandwich, but next up I wanted to mention another free activity to do here at Disney Springs for the Christmas season is of course the Christmas tree stroll. As Bianca is scanning the <laughs> QR code, I think we have to go somewhere to pick up the map. I don't think we're gonna do it today, but we will see a few trees because I know they have a Encanto Christmas tree, if I heard correctly, on the internet. As we were walking by Once Upon a Toy, I noticed this is where you can meet Santa Claus. Oh, there he is. He's having a meet and greet right now. I like the backdrop. This would make a really good Christmas photo for like a Christmas card. I ran into Earl. We used to work together back in the day. It's good to see you, but you're creating some extra magic for us right now. We get to meet Santa Claus? Wait, do you know him? Because I know him. <laughs> oh, that's right. You can pick up a Dear Santa letter and you can tell him if you've been naughty or nice or a little bit of both. You can also put down your Christmas list and they have some pans for you. <laughs> and he's still just give me a best. Oh. Well, you know what? At least I'm not on the naughty list. There's, there's still hope, right? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I will say, I can't remember that many like meet and greets that I've had with Santa over the course of my 28 years of life, but that was the best meet and greet I've ever had with Santa. He was hilarious, he was so nice. We just sat there for a while just having a conversation off camera because when we met him, there was no line. That's fantastic. It was such a nice part of our day today. Quickly passing by Earl of Sandwich one more time, I wanted to point out that here at the carousel, they have like a little holiday overlay with Santa hats. Here's the hours and the pricing. It's not operating right now because it seems like they are at lunch. If you need some fancy Disney ornaments while you're here on vacation, be sure to stop inside Days of Christmas, which is a store where you can buy custom ornaments. You can get them personalized. They have some Christmas merchandise in there. And this store is open all year. And it's located right next to Rainforest Cafe. Whoa, the volcano at Rainforest is going off right now. It's hot. You can feel that yeah, you can. Whoa! That's crazy. Passing by swirls on the water, the volcano is still going off. But I wanted to check out their holiday offerings for this year. You can find the Dough Whip Holiday Nachos and a frozen hot cocoa float. And they also have this peppermint holiday cone with the peppermint and chocolate soft serve. Oh my, look at this Haunted Mansion Christmas tree. I will say this tree looks fantastic at nighttime. There's the sign for the stroll right there. This is always my favorite one. We still have to find that Encanto one. And right next door, you can find the next Christmas tree, which is themed to Nightmare Before Christmas with Zero right there on top. I love these Christmas ornaments of Jack and Sally. Oh yeah, it does light up. I bet this tree looks awesome at nighttime as well. I have never noticed these hidden Mickeys on this gate or this fence ever. I learn new things every time I'm here. These are a little creepy, I must say. Okay, our next stop on today's adventure brings us here to my favorite restaurant here at Disney Springs, the Boathouse to try a Christmas Old Fashioned. We opted to sit at the bar because there was no wait, but the Christmas Old Fashioned is made with Heaven's Door Whiskey, which is right there. They also have Whistle Pig, which is my favorite. They have some really good stuff. And here we are. Again, this is called the Christmas Old Fashioned. It is a featured holiday drink here at the Boat House. It's made with Heaven's Door Whiskey, Rosemary, and Cranberry Simple Syrup. It's available now through January the 15th. Cheers, my love, and Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas to all of you watching at home. What do you think? I have Bianca drinking Old Fashions now, which is weird. She's more of a whiskey girl. I like bourbon more, but I'm surprised. This is really good. Look at that. Great detail to this drink. Yeah, this Christmas Old Fashioned is really good. I think I like it a little bit more because it does have a little bit of a sweet kick to it. Not like too sweet to mess up an Old Fashioned, but I think it has to do with the cranberry simple syrup. The Heaven's Door whiskey is really good. I will definitely be having that whiskey again because I don't know it's a little smoky it's a little sweet but it's just right I feel like I still like whistle pig more definitely get this this is very good since we are already here at the boathouse and I mean you can't come to this restaurant and not order some seafood I decided to order two of the wild caught shrimp for four dollars and 25 cents each I wanted to mention those drinks were fifteen dollars each but our next stop is going to be over at Jock Lindsay's hangar bar to get the adult milk and cookies but quickly i wanted to pop my head inside of the gift store here at the boathouse because this is where you can pick up your map to do the christmas tree stroll heading inside boutique because this is where we can pick up those maps i got one here's what this year's christmas tree stroll map looks like also on the back you can find some exclusive coupons like 10 percent off planet hollywood not a bad deal at all. Really quick, here's what the inside of the map looks like. You just find the matching Christmas tree, you get a sticker, and you place it, and then once you complete it, you bring it back for a special surprise. And here we are at Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar. Look at this view. But for the holidays, it is called Jock Lindsay's Holiday Bar. Oh yeah. Check this place out. It is all decked out for Christmas. There's so much going on in here. I love it. But just like every other year, we got lucky. And I don't know why we get to sit inside of this capsule thing at this table. 
which is really nice because it's a little tucked away. Here's the special Christmas menu. As I open it up, here's what we got. Bianca was saying that Clausmo sounds really good. And then we are here to get the post-flight milk and cookies with Cojito for $27. Or you can get it with regular milk for $9. And then here's some appetizers. The Naughty or Nice Deviled Eggs. We got that last year. They were okay. Grandma's Revenge Venison Sliders. Interesting. All right. We have some options, but we're really here just for the post-flight milk and cookies. I really wish you guys could smell the scent I am smelling right now through your TVs or phones because it smells absolutely delicious. But here's our post-flight milk and cookies with Coquito for $27. This is a gingerbread cookie, apple pie cookie, pecan pie cookie, coquito with Bacardi rum. Cheers. Wow, wow, wow. So I will say right off the bat that the adult milk and cookies or the post-flight milk and cookies this year, they were the best they've ever been. I feel like this year the cookies were made fresh because just about every single one of those cookies were warm, like on the plate, so they just came out of the oven or, I don't know, but the cojito was the best it's ever been. I think they added just a little bit more like spice or cinnamon. And you know, this is something that the entire family can come and enjoy. You don't have to get the coquito and cookies. You can just get the regular milk and cookies. It's just as fun. Or if you're a couple like us who, you know, wants to celebrate the holidays here at Disney Springs, this is something fun you can do with a date night or just friends in general and I can't recommend this enough it's so much fun year after year they have the new musical popcorn buckets here at Disney Springs I thought these were only available at the Magic Kingdom but you can find them here our next stop on today's adventure brings us here to World of Disney I just want to see if they have any new holiday merchandise check this place out it's all decked out for Christmas but right over here I noticed a new Wakanda Forever lounge flight backpack that's cool. I like this shirt as well. There's a pair of headbands here and a hoodie. These are fun. Look at this Star Wars Spirit Jersey Christmas sweater. It's a zip up. And this is what the back looks like. This is interesting. How much is it? $129.99? Season's greetings. We have some Marvel Christmas merchandise. Here's a t-shirt, a coffee mug. Oh, it's Gwen Stacy and Spider-Man. Is Miles on there? Oh yeah, there he is. Then we have a Groot Christmas plush, a Groot stocking, and then a t-shirt. Oh. Oh, that's cool. I like that. And then here's a t-shirt for $39.99. I have always wanted to purchase this holiday train from Disney. It's $150, but I don't know. I found a really cool Polar Express set that I'm interested in. Bianca found some comfy sweats for $138. Kind of reminds me of skins. Oh yeah, I could see that. They are very so soft. soft. Here's another pair as well. Very nice. I like this all black Disney Parks Lounge Flight backpack for $75. I think this is the matching pair of Minnie Mouse ears but I've never seen these before. Just a FYI, they still have plenty of the new Christmas Starbucks cups in stock for $50. They have this Spirit Jersey Christmas sweater with Mickey on there with a matching pair of ears. I found the new Christmas Crocs. It looks like they have plenty of the different sizes all in stock. I found some more new holiday Minnie Mouse ears. I like this pair with the simple Santa hat on top. Oh wow, they actually have these in stock? For $60, I kind of want one. I don't know. I'm tempted. And here is the main holiday section. I like it. You know, you can't really mess up Christmas. But other than that, I've pretty much shown you everything already. Like the spirit jerseys and everything. I'm not really seeing anything else. There's the Christmas lounge fly backpacks. They have a pet toy. Oh, I haven't seen this gingerbread hat. Here's another holiday coffee mug. They do have some Hanukkah merchandise. Not that much, but a little bit more than the previous years. We really like these cookie jars 
for $54.99. They have this Christmas martini glass. We like this too. And a table runner. They have these holiday glass sets of four. And check this out. They have a milk and cookies for Santa kit. The little mug for his milk and a plate for his cookies. And a straw. Even better. Ooh, look at this. I will admit, they have some pretty good Christmas merchandise this year. I didn't really see too many new items inside World of Disney, but that's okay. Our next stop is Basin. I found another Christmas tree. This is the Mickey and Minnie Mouse tree on the Christmas tree stroll. Check it out. I love these Mickey ornaments. And then you have Minnie's bow on top. And here we are at Basin. Again this year, they brought back the 12 days of bath bombs for $54.99. They have this snowflake bath bomb for $7.99 and a snowflake premium bath bomb for $8.99. I don't know what this let it snow bath shimmer is. It says shake me. I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. If you need a really good last minute Christmas gift or a stocking stuffer, I like Basin because they offer these cute little gift sets with like a bath bomb, some soap, and something else. They have this awesome mix bath bomb from Guardians of the Galaxy, plus this Minnie Mouse bow. These are fun. Look at this fortune cookie one. Of course, you can't come to Basin and not wash your hands. Another free thing to do here. We have found the Encanto tree. Look at this. For their Christmas ornaments, they have their doors. There's Bruno's door. Wow. I love this tree. There's Maribel's door. And then on the top of the Christmas tree, we have the family candle. There's Dolores, Luisa, and then up here, Isabella and her flowers. Oh, there's Antonio. He's my favorite. Let's make a quick stop inside of Amaretz because they do have a few holiday offerings. Ooh, what's this? It's a Santa Claus petite cake for $22. It's chocolate chiffon cake, chocolate chip cookie cake, chocolate and vanilla mousse. And then look over here. They have a Mickey premium bar cake for $65. If you're here on vacation, these make a really good birthday cake. I'm just saying. They have Christmas chocolate chip cookies. A box of three for $10 or $4 each. Oh my, they have these holiday wreath pastry. It's a gingerbread cookie cake, salted caramel spice mousse, and pralines for $8. And then over here, they have a ornament mousse cake for $9. Also on the Christmas tree stroll map, you can find a 20% off coupon for Under Armour. Bianca was right, the Christmas ornaments do light up. Only in Florida do they decorate palm trees. Yep. It's official. It's Christmas time. No more Thanksgiving. It's just full on Christmas now. There's the moon right up there as the sun is setting for the day. There's the Christmas tree. What a day. And we're still not done. <laughs> this is the Disney Plus Christmas tree. We can see the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special ornament, which was fantastic. I loved that little special. Oh yeah, Home Alone's up there. Never know what you may see. And then up top, Disney Plus. Also, look at these giant iPhones. That way you can stream Disney Plus. Or is this a early sign? Because the rumor is Bob Iger may sell the company to Apple. One day. Which, I mean, I it's would be idea. okay with because I, I love Apple, but uh, holy cow, I was not expecting to hear this rumor and we'll see if it happens. You can also find a 20% off coupon for Columbia as well on the Christmas tree stroll map. Okay, our next stop is not holiday related, no. but because we are never here after 5 p.m., <laughs> what are we doing? So we're gonna go to the Four Rivers food truck Which is that right I there. love and get the birria quesadilla. I'm I excited. Love, I love Bedia. I love well, it. I like Bedia too, but I think Bianca enjoys it a little bit oh, more no, than me. I crave it. I crave it. And Four Rivers, they know how to make Bedia. So let's go get some. <laughs> Here's a look at their menu. Bianca ordered the Bedia quesadilla. But I mean, everything is good here. I've had the tacos. I've had the burrito bowl, and then I've had the taco cone, which is really good. This looks and smells so good. Look at that bedia inside. 
And then what's the sauce? Okay. Look how cheesy that is. What? Oh yeah, let's dig in. The Bedia quesadilla was really good. I highly recommend. We are full. We're ready for one last dessert, I think. And then we may call it a night. But I think we like the Bedia here a little bit more because it had like a smoky barbecue taste to it. I just think it's the way they season it and prepare it and cook it. But very good. If you need something to eat quick, this is the place for you. I am now passing by my favorite place to get ice cream from, Salt and Straw. Here's the holiday series for this month. They have a spiked eggnog, gingerbread cookie dough, peppermint cocoa. Ooh, decisions, decisions. I think this is going to be our last stop on today's food adventure, which brings us here to Everglaze Donuts and Cold Brew. So they don't have any of the Christmas donuts out yet, but here's what they have. I'm so tempted. Look at this everything donut. Interesting. Decided to come back to Salt and Straw because I wanted to try the gingerbread cookie dough. Here's my last treat on today's food adventure. I got half gingerbread cookie dough and half cinnamon snickerdoodle. That gingerbread dough ice cream was fantastic, but you have to love and enjoy gingerbread. And then I got it, you know, mixed in with the cinnamon snickerdoodle because I love snickerdoodle so much. It was delicious. I'm also really enjoying the Christmas tunes they've been playing throughout Disney Springs all throughout today. Whoa, look at this Disney Cruise Line Christmas tree. It's the Wish. We just got off the Wish. I miss it so much. This is awesome. Can I bring this home? We decided to come back to the Town Center Christmas tree to see the Snope. It happens in about 10 minutes. I think it's about to happen. The Snope. It's snoping in Florida. How magical is this? Wow. I like this a lot. Oh no, it's getting on my camera. I just love this so much as I'm covered in snope right now, but the music is awesome. You have the Christmas lights, the Christmas tree, the snow, snow, and then just everybody's in the Christmas spirit. You have the Disney magic and you're at Walt Disney Road. What a night, man, what a night. All right, my friends, that's gonna do it for today's video. What a super fun day slash night we had here at Disney Springs enjoying some of the Christmas festivities like the adult milk and cookies from Jock Lindsay's Holiday Bar. We got to try some new offerings like the Christmas Old Fashioned from the Boathouse, which was delicious. Everything was fantastic. I really enjoyed this little date night that we had. Also, how did you guys like the new camera setup? from everything that I can tell so far. Now again, I haven't edited it just yet, but I'm really enjoying this camera. I will definitely be getting some new glass for this camera, but it's very nice. I'm very happy with my purchase. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help with the channel in so many different ways. I love you all in YouTube. I will see you in the next video. Merry Christmas, Prince Charming. I wanna get you one more time. I really wanna cross the